Hello everyone. This is Satoru Iwata from Nintendo. Today, I have new information about upcoming Wii U and Nintendo 3DS titles, and I will deliver this news directly to you. Our first announcement today regards a new collaborative title that we are revealing for the first time, a game that combines the action of Tecmo Koei's Warrior series with the world of Zelda. Please take a look. The trailer you just saw is not the next installment of Nintendo's core The Legend of Zelda series, but it is an all-new game for Wii U, bringing the tried-and-true action gameplay of Tecmo Koei's Warrior series to the world of Zelda. We hope you can imagine many new possibilities. This new title from Tecmo Koei combining the Legend of Zelda and Warriors franchises will arrive on Wii U in 2014. We will revisit Wii U shortly, but next, I have some key information on a few first-party titles for Nintendo 3DS. First, let's begin with Kirby's latest adventure, which was revealed in a previous Nintendo Direct. The official title will be Kirby Triple Deluxe. In this side-scrolling action game, Kirby doesn't just move from left to right. As you can see, the stage stretches into the distance beyond where Kirby is currently walking. Sometimes enemies come at him from back there, and with Kirby switching between the front and back of the stage to solve puzzles, the action takes advantage of a depth that's right at home on Nintendo 3DS. Another key new feature is Kirby's Hypernova ability. He can only use it at certain points during stages, but when he does activate it, his usual inhale ability is temporarily powered up, allowing him to suck up everything in his way while opening up new passes. Of course, his usual copy ability is still a part of Kirby Triple Deluxe. There are over 20 different types of copy abilities in the game, including four new abilities we created specifically for this game. We hope you will use your enemy strength against them and enjoy the wide variety of actions and strategic options for clearing each stage. Speaking of Kirby, his games are known for offering many additional modes alongside his core adventures. Today, I will introduce you to two additional modes included in Triple Deluxe. The first is Kirby Fighters. If you've ever played a Kirby game, you may have wondered which copy ability is the most powerful of them all. Well, we may find out in Kirby Fighters, which lets you pick one of 10 copy abilities selected just for this game to wield in a fight against another player's Kirby. Up to four players with Nintendo 3DS systems can get together and enjoy this multiplayer mode. Or you can play it by yourself as well. Another new mode is DDD's Drum Dash. 
Kirby's longtime rival, King Dedede, is the main character in this rhythm game. It will have you pressing buttons in sync with music while jumping and collecting points to aim for the highest score. You can play this mode to several familiar Kirby tunes. Kirby Triple Deluxe will be released in 2014. The next title we are showing today is a title we introduced at E3 this year. Fans might remember Super Mario World as the debut of Mario's companion, Yoshi, the lovable green character that eats up enemies and turns them into eggs. Yoshi was such a big part of that game that its sequel launched an entire series of its own called Yoshi's Island. And now we are pleased to confirm that Yoshi's latest will be produced by Takashi Tezuka, the creative director of the Super NES original. Mr. Tezuka is working alongside the developers at Arzest to create Yoshi's new island with the support from our own internal EAD team. Here's another quick look at the game. Please enjoy. We hope you are looking forward to experimenting with Yoshi's new eggs and abilities. Please stay tuned to hear more about what else awaits you. You'll be playing Yoshi's New Island when it launches in spring of 2014. We receive many requests for new games from past franchises, and pretty soon, a fan favorite from the GameCube era will make its return to North America, this time exclusively on the Nintendo 3DS eShop. In Chibi Robo Photo Finder, you lead a four-inch tall robot on a mission to get a brand new museum off the ground. The museum's curator has entrusted Chibi Robo with a very important task. He wants him to collect nostalgia junk, or in other words, the objects surrounding you in your day-to-day -day life. The key to collecting these objects is the game's silhouette capture feature. When Chibi Robo uses a special in-game camera, you'll see a specific silhouette on the upper screen of your Nintendo 3DS. To find an object that matches, you have to embark on a real-life photo hunt. If you find something that fits the profile, take a photo of it with your Nintendo 3DS. The object you captured will become nostalgia, and Chibirobo will bring it into the game so the curator can add it to his museum. The game will also introduce you to a diverse cast of characters who need Chibirobo's help, anyone from superheroes to singing sponge bears, and they'll all need help with something. Cleaning up a room, shooting wasabi into sushi, and beating mysterious enemies. The more you help each character, the further you can proceed in your photo-finding missions. Just make sure you don't run out of electricity. You are a robot after all. The museum cannot complete itself. The game also features community events called Nostalgia Challenges. These challenges focus on particular silhouette and give players opportunities to showcase their creativity and maybe even earn a special outfit for Chibi Robo to wear in a game. Look for the demo version and full version of Chibi Robo Photo Finder on the Nintendo eShop coming soon.
Nostalgian Challenges will begin shortly after launch and will be available to all players who own the full version of the game. For more information about Nostalgian Challenges, please visit the Chibi Robo Photo Finder website on Nintendo.com. Next, I have new information on Pokemon Bank and Pocket Transporter. These are both compatible with Pokemon X and Y, as we announced in last September's Nintendo Direct. Pokemon Bank is software for Nintendo 3DS that lets you store up to 3,000 Pokemon from Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. And Poke Transporter is an application that lets you keep the precious Pokemon you've caught over the years and transferred into Pokemon Black and White as well as Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 and allows you to transfer them into Pokemon X and Y. Pokemon Bank and Pocket Transporter will be released on December 27th. You can also download a 30-day free trial version anytime between launch and January 31st, 2014. By the way, if you access your Pokemon Bank box by September 30th, 2014, we will offer you the rare Pokemon, Celebi, as a special gift. This is also available during the free trial period. So if you have Pokemon X or Y, please make sure to use this service. Next, let's pass it over to Nintendo of America for a few announcements. Hi everyone, Reggie here from the Nintendo of America headquarters in Redmond, Washington. Let's jump right in with some new information on the next big RPG on Nintendo 3DS. Bravely Default aims to shake up the rules of traditional turn-based combat, and one way it achieves this goal is with a new feature called Sleep Points, or SP. One Sleep Point is generated for every eight non-consecutive hours your 3DS system is closed while the game is running. You can have a max of three SP at a time, and each can be used during battle to swap for better equipment, revive a fallen party member, heal, or unleash attacks above and beyond the game's usual damage cap. This system works wonders when used in conjunction with Bravely Default's Street Pass functions. It provides the simultaneous benefit of building sleep points while gathering warriors via Street Pass to summon and aid you in battle. And while we're discussing sleep points, I should also mention that there's a quicker way to build them up. You can use SP Potions which can be purchased from the Nintendo eShop at any time without interrupting gameplay. These potions refill all three of your sleep points. However, I should point out that they're completely optional and provide you with no benefit you can't achieve by simply playing the game. That said, SP potions are a nice addition if you don't feel like waiting for your sleep points to refill. Bravely Default will launch in stores and on the Nintendo eShop, February 7th of 2014. Starting next month, we'll offer an extensive Bravely Default demo on the Nintendo eShop. But it's not just any demo. It's a completely free side story, not included in the main game, in which Tiz and his allies work towards the restoration of Norente Village. You'll get to experience the game's innovative battle system and some of the different jobs for your characters. You can even receive useful item packs that transfer directly into the main version of the game, along with up to 20 Street Pass tags and any Nintendo 3DS friends you may have registered in the demo. Check out more details on the Bravely Default demo in an exclusive video available today on Nintendo's YouTube channel and Nintendo.com. The Bravely Default Side Story Demo will be available for free on the Nintendo 3DS eShop starting January 2nd. I'd also like to take this opportunity today at the end of the year to thank all of our fans for your passion and dedication in 2013. 
Stick around at the end of today's presentation for a photo tribute. But for now, let me pass it back to Mr. Awada. Happy holidays. Thanks, Reggie. Next, let's move along to Wii U, beginning with Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Please take a look. In the game, DK Island has been invaded by Viking-like animals from the northern seas, named the Snowmats. And now, Donkey Kong must travel across various islands with the rest of the Kong crew in order to reclaim his home. During this year's E3, we announced that Dixie Kong will join the game as a partner character alongside of fan favorite Diddy Kong. And in this title, there is another new partner as well, which we recently revealed at Spike's VGX Video Game Awards show. That's right, Cranky Kong will be joining the team this time. As fans will remember, Cranky is the eldest member of the Kong family, and until now, he's been relegated to a supporting role in the series. But this time around, he will finally appear as a playable character, and with his cane, he can perform actions the other Kong can. Additionally, in this game, if you collect 100 bananas, you can execute a newly added special move with your buddy character called the Kong Pao. When you use this special move, all of the enemies on screen will turn into items. Please look forward to the adventures Donkey Kong and crew will experience across six distinct islands, each filled with dynamic levels and high-impact action. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze will be released on February 21st in stores and on the Nintendo eShop. Next, we have news from Sega about Sonic Lost World. Soon, Nintendo fans and Sonic enthusiasts will be speeding through two exclusive pieces of DLC coming to the Wii U version of the game. But there is something unique about this downloadable content. Both downloads will feature levels based on fan-favorite Nintendo franchises. And right now, it is my pleasure to reveal the first one. The first piece of DLC for Sonic Lost World draws from the world of Yoshi. In Yoshi's Island Zone, Sonic must race across a brand new level filled with Yoshi-themed thrills. As you blast through, you encounter iconic elements from both series that are well known to Yoshi and Sonic players alike. Expect to see pipes, coins, shy guys, piranha plants, and of course, Sonic's signature loop-de-loops, all rendered in the unmistakable Yoshi art style. Can you and Sonic save the Yoshis by finding all their eggs? Uncover this level's hidden areas and find out for yourself. The Yoshi's Island Zone DLC for Sonic Lost World is available right now for free on the Nintendo eShop on Wii U. Earlier, I mentioned a second piece of Nintendo-themed DLC for Sonic Lost World. I wish that content was ready today as well, but for now, I can only offer you a hint. Fans will be able to link their Wii U system to the Nintendo eShop early next year to download this DLC as well. Next, we have some new info on Wii Sports Club as we have already released Tennis and Bowling. This compilation, which adds online multiplayer to the sport, 
from the original Wii Sports. We'll have a new sport available today. And that new sport is Go. Wii Sports Club Go offered a more realistic feel to its gameplay that the original Wii Sports you now be able to review the course, terrain, and wind direction on the TV screen, and then swing with a club while looking at the golf ball displayed on the floor in front of you with the Wii U gamepad. As you get better, you'll even be able to draw and fade your shot at will. In Wii Sports Club Golf, you can enjoy the nine-hole course from the original Wii Sports, in addition to a newly developed nine-hole course based on a Famicom game called Golf US Course, which I helped to develop more than 25 years ago. With this new release, we are also offering a 24-hour free trial, so you can try out tennis, bowling, and golf before purchasing. Even if you took advantage of this offer previously, you can still participate again, so please try out this new golf game too. We will begin distributing Wii Sports Club Golf following today's presentation. Following the system update available from October, Wii Sports Club is being automatically distributed to Wii U systems with enough available storage space. It is indicated by this icon, so you can check the Wii U menu to see if it has been pushed to your system. This will serve as a hub to access your 24-hour trial or for purchasing day passes and individual sports. Keep in mind that to play Wii Sports Club, you need to have enough Wii Remote Plus controllers or Wii Remote controllers with Motion Plus accessories for the number of people playing. Starting last month, we began selling Wii Remote Plus Mario and Wii Remote Plus Luigi controllers. Check Nintendo.com for more information if you are interested in purchasing either of these. Next, let's start by watching this. At first glance, this may look like a scene from Donkey Kong. And this looks like Super Mario Brothers. But what you are watching right now is actually a new downloadable exclusive for Wii U called NES Remix. This title features carefully selected scenes from Super Mario Brothers, The Legend of Zelda, Donkey Kong, and other early Nintendo Entertainment System games, 16 titles in total, taking some of the best gameplay set pieces from this era and reimagining them with new twists and challenges. As you saw in the video, there are quick levels that have been altered from their originals to now include elements that make them feel brand new called remix stages. And there are levels that are mostly the same as they were before, but they highlight some of the best parts of their original titles and contain new challenges as well, called NES stages. NES Remix is compatible with Beavers and the stamp feature with 8-bit stamps. When posting from within the game, you can also post your record from each stage along with your clear time, so you can compete with other players for the fastest time. NES Remix will be available on the Nintendo eShop following this presentation. Next up is more Luigi-related news. Dr. Luigi is in the house. As many of you know, his brother's game, Dr. Mario, is all about eliminating viruses. You must match four of the same color using multicolored capsules to eliminate them. But in Dr. Luigi, there's a new mode where you attack viruses with L-shaped pills that are essentially two capsules fused into one. 
These L-shaped capsules will fall with three of the same color oriented vertically, making it easy to wipe out viruses with a single L capsule and making for more swiftly paced gameplay. It's harder to get a game over, so I think even players less comfortable with puzzle games will enjoy this more. Once the difficulty level increases, capsules oriented vertically won't be in the same colors as often. So if you are already an advanced Dr. Mario player, or if you get used to building these L-shaped capsules, you can adjust the difficulty level to your liking. In the original game, if you chain combos during versus play, you could attack your opponent by dropping capsules on their screen. But now, this rule has also been changed. When you successfully chain combos, the opponent's next capsule color changes at the very last moment, which will make them go back to the drawing board at the last minute and struggle to stay ahead. Because of this new type of attack method, you can enjoy unique tactics that differ from Dr. Mario. Of course, Dr. Luigi also features a mode that lets you play the traditional Dr. Mario, which supports online play as well. So you can battle against your rivals from all over the world for higher rankings. Virus Buster mode as it was featured in the Brain Age series on Nintendo DS is also available. But as you can see, you can now play it by holding the Wii U gamepad vertically and using the touch screen while seeing the action unfold on the big screen. Dr. Luigi is scheduled to be released on December 31st and to continue our celebrations and push the year of Luigi into 2014, we will be offering a special Louis-themed item on Club Nintendo. Check the Club Nintendo website for more information on how to get yours. The last title to show is one coming out next year you are probably familiar with. Please take a look.
we didn't discuss what other content would be included in this Nintendo Direct with Smash Brothers director Masahiro Sakurai, but he must have figured it was about time to show more on Mario Kart 8 when he created that video. I have to give Mr. Sakurai some credit because here is the latest video for Mario Kart 8. Please take a look. Along with racing in new airport and cloud top courses, Mario Kart 8 will also feature a new buggy type kart. Mario Kart 8 is scheduled for release on Wii U in spring 2014. Thank you for watching today. See you next time and happy holidays. <laughs>